What's up, everyone? Welcome to the first episode of Hawks Talk with myself, Jared Shamil. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Atlanta Sports Unlimited and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Trey Young, he's the first superstar in Atlanta since Dominique Wilkins, and that's no disrespect to Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson was great, but he's no Trey or Dominique. Since getting drafted by Atlanta, Trey has completely embraced this city, but the front office just doesn't seem to care. You can tell Trey loves this city. He's constantly tweeting about the Falcons and the Braves and how they're doing. He even named one of his dogs, Lana. And this past weekend during the All-Star game, he came in second in the three-point contest only to Damian Lillard. And he probably would have won the skills competition if Scotty Barnes remembered how to dribble and Tyrese Maxey knew how to follow directions. But that's neither here nor there. Let's just take a look back at the last time the Hawks had a player of this caliber, Dominique Wilkins. In 1994, the Hawks traded Dominique Wilkins to the Los Angeles Clippers for a half-eaten bag of potato chips. Or at least that's what it seemed like. And the way that things are going now, that might be the same fate for Trey Young. Things seemed to be going great when the Hawks hired Travis Schlink to be their general manager. I mean, he was the one that drafted Trey Young, John Collins, Kevin Herter. He signed Bogdanovich. He signed Danilo Gallinari. He was building an actual squad. The only problem is that team may have overachieved a bit too early. That was the team that made that big, magical Eastern Conference Finals run in 2021. They ultimately came up short after Trey Young turned his ankle on a referee's foot. Because of that, they decided to stay put with their team and run it back for another year. But that team just wasn't ready. They met the Miami Heat in the first round and got absolutely destroyed in five games. Where Trey Young put up the worst five game stretch I've seen in his career. That offseason, the Hawks decided to finally make a move as they traded for all-star, all-defensive guard DeJounte Murray to pair up with Trey in the backcourt. The thing is, the general manager, Travis Schlink, was not a fan of that trade. But the Hawks owner, Tony Ressler, and his son, Nick Ressler, for some reason, thought they knew more than Travis Schlink, the former assistant GM that helped build the Warriors dynasty. He was there to help draft Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson. I think he knows a bit more about basketball. But Tony and Nick said no, and Travis Schlink resigned, and they went along with the DeJounte Murray trade. And I think that is where all the Atlanta Hawks problems began. Much like the Atlanta Falcons, the Atlanta Hawks problem stems from the front office, and it just trickles down. Since Travis Schlink stepped down, year after year, our front office is telling all the fans how, oh, we're going to make a big move. We're going we're gonna to get Trey some help. We're going we're gonna to be buyers of the trade deadline. And then they just do nothing. This season at the trade deadline, a couple weeks ago, the Atlanta Hawks record was 22-29. and 29. Hawks fans on Twitter, on every platform, were calling for the Hawks to do something. But our front office saw that 22 and 29 record and said, nah, we're good. We're going to stay put, not make any moves, do absolutely nothing. It's been like this every single year. If things continue this way, the Hawks will continue to just hover around mediocrity year after year. You know, the Hawks will make the play in at least, but there'll be nothing more than a first round exit. And if this is the case, a player like Trey Young will not stand for that, and he will grow to be tired of that, if he's not tired already. And he will demand a trade, and I wouldn't blame him one bit. I wouldn't be mad at Trey Young at all. And all the things he's talking about recently about Wimby Yama, I think he wants to team up with Wimby. And that duo is a terrifying thought. Trey Young and Victor Wimby Yama would run this league. The San Antonio Spurs would have another dynasty. They would win, I think, at least three rings if they teamed up together. So to make sure that doesn't happen, Tony Wrestler, Landry Fields, Nick Wrestler, if you are truly in win-now mode like you try to say you are every year, y'all better do something quick before Trey Young leaves.